1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. Prime Minister will meet top political leadership of China in Beijing today to discuss ways to further strengthen cooperation between the two countries. Pakistan and Turkey have agreed to work together in various fields including trade, investment, education and culture. Forty Palestinians were martyred in unabated Israeli strikes in besieged Gaza. Pakistan has qualified for semi-finals of AVC Challenge Volleyball Cup after beating Vietnam in quarterfinals in Bahrain. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif will meet the top Chinese political leadership in Beijing today. The Prime Minister will hold meetings with Chinese President Xi Jinping and his Chinese counterpart Premier Li Qiang. Shahbaz Sharif will also have a meeting with National People's Congress Standing Committee Chairman Jia Hao Li Ji. The Prime Minister will attend the signing ceremony of MOUs between China and Pakistan on cooperation in various fields. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has arrived at Great Hall of People in Beijing. Chinese Premier Li Qiang received the Prime Minister. A contingent of the People's Liberation Army of China presented Guard of Honor to the Prime Minister. Minister of State for Power Division Ali Parvez Malik says Safety Commission of the European Union delisted Pakistan from its air safety concern list last month. Responding to another calling attention notice, he said similarly, Pakistan has submitted its action plan to another safety list, which is under verification process. He expressed the confidence that Pakistan Airlines flights to Europe will be resumed soon. Acting Governor of Punjab, Malik Mohammad Ahmad Khan, says Pakistan and Turkey are bound by historical ties of brotherly shared religious and cultural traditions. He stated this during a meeting with Turkish Ambassador to Pakistan, Dr. Mahmoud Pachachi, in Lahore today. On the occasion, they agreed to work together in various fields including trade, investment, education and culture. The relevant government departments are continuing their operation against drug trafficking. Since September last year, the relevant agencies seized 1,032.03 metric tons of drugs from across the country and arrested 1,495 drug dealers. Special Investment Facilitation Council is playing a pivotal role in promotion of aquaculture in Pakistan as per international standards. SIFC, through Green Pakistan Initiative, has approached various companies to set up shrimp farms on public-private partnership model focusing on aquaculture. Contracts have been signed with two private companies which have started shrimp farming. This farming can not only improve the economy but also reduce environmental pollution by 50% by controlling greenhouse gas emissions. World Food Safety Day is being observed today to draw attention towards food safety standards. In his message on the occasion, President Asif Ali Zardari has reaffirmed commitment to strengthen food safety systems to ensure that everyone has access to safe, clean and nutritious food. Forty displaced Palestinians, including women and children, have been martyred and dozens injured in an Israeli attack on a UN-operated school in central Gaza. The martyred Palestinians' toll has now risen to over 36,000 and 83,309 wounded in Israeli military attacks on Gaza since October 7 last year. Pakistan has qualified for the semi-finals of AVC Challenge Volleyball Cup after beating Vietnam in quarter-finals in Bahrain. In the quarter-finals, Pakistan volleyball team beat Vietnam with a score of 3-2 sets. Pakistan won the match with 19-25, 27-25, 25-23, 21-25 and 15-12 points. 
and now cricket. In the ICC T20 World Cup, Canada will play against Ireland in New York today. The match will start at half past seven tonight. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.